The wonderful thing about deep brain stimulation is we can predict on an individual basis what will it do for you. And the exercise I like to go with, uh, go through with my patients that are considering deep brain stimulation is I ask them to think of themselves when they're at their best, okay? When their medicine is kicked in and they're doing great, it's usually a window of about an hour or two, maybe in the late morning or early afternoon. That's when they're at their best. And then I ask them to think of themselves as being a little bit better than that. Not a lot better, but a little bit better. But then I ask them to think of themselves as being at their best, a little bit better, but all, the, all of the time. They're locked into their best all of the time, 24-7. That's really the kicker, when they think of themselves being at their best all of the time. And the bonuses are, the added bonuses are, one, they're taking only about half of their usual medications for Parkinson's disease. And two, some of the side effects are completely eliminated of their medications. For example, one of the side effects that can commonly happen is the, is the dyskinesia or the wiggly jiggly movements that Michael J. Fox uh, suffers from. So those are also eliminated. So that's the other bonus. But it really illustrates that we can predict on an individual basis, because we're all individuals, how this therapy will affect them on an individual basis specifically.